Hey guys, the boys back here with another episode of Elvenar. Now this is episode 2. Now where we left off in the last video, we just got started and we got some basic buildings and productions going and we were trying to save up to get enough resources to finish off our next quest. Now, overnight we've got some resources so we should be able to complete our challenge so we only need to get through more encounters shouldn't be too hard so we just negotiate all of them should be pretty easy there we go let's claim that reward and get those coins so our next is to start through beverages we might as well just go straight to that collect all our stuff here so beverages is really fun so we'll get that nice and quickly now we can see at the top here we've got our KPs are completely full, so we need to spend them before we start losing out. So if we can we just check what we have here. So if we go into our research, we can see that we finished putting our points into our steel manufactory, which we have now found out is our boosted manufactory. So that is the one we want to get first. So let's go ahead and buy that. Boom, there we go. Now we've got 10 points left, so I say the other manufacturers aren't really important right now. You only really want to get your bait for the start with, so I'm going to go ahead and get another expansion because expansions are always good and positive. Now, as you can see here, we've got a crossbow. At the moment in our barracks, we have just the Axe Barbarian, so the crossbow is a new unit which does less damage but it shoots from further away so it also survives at range which means that it's going to be harder to kill so in an actual fight it would be a lot better for us if when we're fighting melee, melee opponents because it means that we're going to be out, able to outrange them and win the fights so it's an as well so that's what all the KPs spent so we need two workshops at level 2 or higher so Oh, it takes a minute and a half. We can get two of them going now. We just cancel their production so we already completed that challenge anyway. So we need to gain 20 coins. That will just come in a while as soon as our, re our uh, residences are giving us some more money. Over here we could build some more troops but at the moment we don't have enough uh, supplies left to be able to do that. So, check here, we managed to get our culture bonus up to 170% last episode, so that's good. Now, every time we build a building, it's going to cost us a bit of culture to be able to upgrade it. So, let's see, upgrading a workshop to level 2 costs us 2 culture, so we just need to make sure that we always have enough culture to be able to keep it at 170% to make sure we get that maximum bonus. So you see here, people that are around us have been donating money to our hall, which means we are getting quite a bit of money, we now have 30,000. So that's good. And the way that you can see that is on the world map. When you, as you expand, you find neighbours, so for instance here, and you can help them out. And what that does is it gives us money. So we just got 200 coins, which also when we completed that quest then. There we go, so this next one is to have one steel manufactory, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and build the steel manufactory that we just unlocked. They're already small, so we can fit, is that a steel? Yep, yeah, so we can fit that right there. I'll just leave that there by itself. We also got them to uh, workshops still too whilst we were waiting for so that's another quest to be completed. So all we need to do now is complete a province and have one steel manufacturing. That's going to take a minute, so we, what we can do is go and do this on the But first, I think we're going to build another workshop because our supplies are quite low and it's always nice to be able to get them quicker. Collect them coins as we go, of course. So, there we go, another workshop. I'm going to upgrade another one of them to level 2 and then we're going to go to the world map and we're going to complete this province that we have down here. 
So simple, just we could negotiate, but it's costing us planks, so we might as well use these. Uh, if I, the armor we do have, because at this level it's still enough to use the expansions. There we go, we complete the expansion. And, ooh, small coins there. So, 10 residences, that's quite a lot. So, we're going to have to crack on and get a few of them built out. So, what we're going to do is going to actually move these workshops so that we can get oh, we don't need them one second so we can keep all of our different buildings together so that it looks a lot cleaner and it's a lot easier to see everything so when we've got all of our residences together we can collect all the coins really easily rather than searching around for them that's that the start of prestigious ring productions. That's a still and that's the three hours it costs to do that and it's gonna cost us 120 gold and twelve supplies. So remembering that if we want our productions our production goods we have to pay to be able to get them. Whereas workshops and houses give us them for free. So we're gonna carry on now and work our way to them ten houses. So I'm just gonna be really quick here and just level one builds for now just to get the buildings down, get the quests built going. Staying on these five minute productions because we're here so we can get them every five minutes, making sure we get the most supplies that we can whilst we're here. So two more houses, that's just another few more seconds. And that's you know yeah another quest complete. So as we can see we're also getting more points from completing that expand uh, province so we can go straight down in a minute. Buy one knowledge point so if you didn't know up here where this plus is next to the knowledge points you can buy knowledge points for different things. You can pay and buy them with diamonds or you can buy them with goods or gold so we're gonna we got loads of gold so we're gonna buy a knowledge point there because we're gonna get back four times the amount and all them supplies anyway so it's always worth it so both solve six encounters and complete your problems that's gonna be very really easy all we're gonna have to do all we're gonna need to do for that is go on to a province and we're just gonna complete one so we're just gonna put them on top grade for the moment we're gonna come back out to our Odd map. So right now we can either get the silks that we've already found here or we can scout for a new one. What we could do is look for a still one but because there isn't one here straight away I'm just going to put one onto search and then I'm just going to go to the silk one. Now we need to get six provinces, six encounters for that and there's only eight on a province so we might as well just complete all of them right now. So we can fight again because we still have enough fighters to be able to do that. Just fight all of these until we spend the snow point spending our snow point spending uh, our s supplies and gold on it when we've already paid troops. So I think no, we can get one more out of that. Alright, most likely now we're not going to be able to take the, the 15 out of the 5 we have remaining, so we're going to have to negotiate for that. Which is not a problem because we do have enough stuff. And we have another province, province expansion. So if you were wondering, every certain amount of provinces you complete, you do get a free expansion. And what you do, and the way you know is that if you click onto your uh, buildings here and go to expansions, you can see that we've got the expansion here, which is free to place, which you get from completing provinces. So we just completed our third one, which gave us one, so we can add that there. What we also had in the middle there is ones that you unlock on the tree. And the ones you unlock on the research tree, you're gonna have to buy it with gold, but that's not a problem because we have plenty of gold and it's an expansion, so why wouldn't you buy it? I'm gonna put it this side. Now the other choice we have here as well is to buy them with diamonds, which are premium expansions, but we're not gonna be able to afford that. 
and you get a premium every time you upgrade your main hall, you unlock another premium, ex premium expansion if you wish to buy them. So we have just got a lot more space, and because of that province, we got a lot of KPs. So what we're going to do, we're going to come back here, and we are going to. I suppose we might as well get this squad because we don't need these other manufacturers as right now. So as I well get our squad size upgrades, which means we can get to our armory. And then once we've got our armory, we will come back to these manufacturers and get our steel production boost because that will probably be a quest in a minute anyway. As you can see, we've got a lot more sort of supplies now, so what we can do is afford to buy some units. So you want to get a mixture of both. But as melee, as these melee troops, they die die more often than the ranged troops. So if you keep the ratio to about two melee troops for one melee troop, you'll notice that they'll survive. All of your troops will last as long as each other when you're fighting them out in the world. So, you know, ooh, we've got a good quest here. We're going to get a nice reward here if we have research marble tanks manufacturing. And we need to get one building to level four or higher. Now, I'm not sure if we can get a residence to level 4 at the moment, but we can check by coming back here. Right, uh, workshops. Oof, I don't know, I guess that's something we're going to have to find out. So, upgrading it to level 3 though will take an hour and a half, so I'm not going to worry about that now. I'm just going to get the rest of these to level 2 because it's not really good. So I will do is we can begin to try and get this ward. So for that we're gonna need points. But we have enough goods here that we can go to our world map again. And keep scouting whenever you can because it takes time to scout, so you always want to make sure that you have promises that you can scout. So I'm gonna come back onto here and we're gonna start shaping for all of these to get the knowledge points we need to unlock that next quest. It's power and free completing quests. If you're not sure what you're doing, just follow the quests you're given and you will basically be given your route, which is a very good way to go because it tells you what to do in order of what you need to do stuff, so the quests are always handy to go for. So we're gonna come back to we need to complete one more province to be able to get that. Uh, to be able to get the last eight points to complete this quest, so we just gotta wait 20 more seconds here for that. So we got our, both of these are upgraded now. We can upgrade these last ones. As you can see, if we get don't get very much still right now, but what will happen is after we get the still boost, you notice that the boost you get is very high because if you come onto your relics here. Right now you can see that we have unlocked the boosts, but as soon as we unlock the boost of steel, it will tell us there how much more we're gonna get instead of getting this minimum that we're getting right now. Coming back onto the world map, oh, that province should be finished now, yeah. And then we are gonna see there's still no steel ones around, so we're just gonna keep on searching out this way. And now we're gonna complete this using negotiations again. Just uh, oh we've run out of supplies. So right now we can't actually complete that one, but what we can do is we know we're not going to get a level four building because what you will have will happen is you get two quests. You'll get one which you cannot decline, which is the quest you, trail you want to follow. You will also get one that you can decline, and that is the same twenty uh, quests on repeat, just so you can get your stuff together. So what we can do is we can decline that until we find one that we can complete really easily. So we yeah, keep looking and we find one that we can complete really easily. So we've just cycled through the walls so I think the most probable one for us there is if we get the option for solving free encounters and we should be able to do that once our troops come in. So we'll leave that there for now. And we're gonna, right now, I believe we're just gonna have to wait because we can't do anything else right now. So I guess I'll be back when we can 
get all of our troops and we can, then we can go get the one map and finish off that province. So I'll see you soon. One thing that I did forget to mention is that you can actually buy knowledge points with your coins. You can get them with coins, goods or diamonds. So right now we're going to get them from coins because they are very cheap and it means we're going to get what we need. So we're going to buy seven of them so we can get the eight that we need to finish off this marble production. One more one. There we go. Yeah, so that's one way to do it, but remember that every time you do buy one, the, they get 500 more expensive, so they do get pretty pricey towards the end. However, we do need another 14 more points to get our boost, so we've got nowhere near enough gold to be able to buy that now, so I'm afraid we are going to have to wait to get that one though, so I'll be back in a second. And we're back. So as you just saw, I got them troops. Boom, to our maximum right there. Which means, who knows, there could be enough to get three encounters solved. Meaning that we can then progress enough to get this quest, which means we get enough supplies to keep solving more, which means that we will have enough, we can solve enough to get the production boost that we are craving here. So, let's go. That's not a good start. We need to find some nice small... Oh, nothing small, but what we can do is use one of them like that. We can then Negotiate that one. Can we negotiate another one? Yes, we can. Boom. We get enough supplies back. That we can keep on negotiating. And who knows, maybe we can get the way through. Yep. So you completed that quest. And while we're there, remember to always make sure that you have at least one scouting. So, still haven't found another. That's still yet, but. We're gonna get there, we're gonna get there. So we're gonna go back here, put in some more, ooh, six more knowledge points. Let's see how much of that cost us. That cost us a bit too much to be able to do that safely. So what we're gonna do, that's lucky we just got another small round of supplies. So then we're gonna go back out into the world and we're gonna hope that we can get another six. So let's get straight in here. First, let's check to see if we can take any of these on. Because you can get lucky, there might be that one that you can take down. No, that's all we're going to have to do is negotiate here. But we're going to be looking for the cheaper ones. Because we're getting, we are very low on steel. Which is not good. Now that we are really not still, though, what we can do, because we know we need them, not, we, need, we know they need the points, is when you, when we finally unlock the trainer, which we will unlock very soon, I believe. Yep, that's next in line. We will be able to swap our money for our uh, goods, so we can get KP cheaper than just buying it straight with gold. So we need four more points and we have um, some resources. So let's go check out the world. Let's see Aha, what we can do as well remember is we can help our fellows around. Let's see we got a nice some resources there which is very good for us because that means that we have means that we can uh, search for more promises, but unfortunately, although every single one, that you, every single person you help, you get gold for, you do not get resources. Sometimes the supplies, you only get a rarity, sort of something like 
1 in 5 to 1 in 10 I'd say. Let's see if we can get another one of these rounds though, just for the people that we've found so far. Two more. Oh, so we're only able to get one there, but what we did do was get a song, so let's see if we can negotiate our way out of some more. There's another one. And can we do any more? We're not going to be able to do any more, but that's one point closer to reaching this our production boost, which we crave. Now, what do we get? We get 4,000 coins for doing this, getting this production boost. So, what we're going to do is we're going to have another look at these rounds to see if we can get anything that would help us. Complete a province. That will come in handy, so we'll use that one there for now. Because there's some amount of time, it's half an hour till we can fight properly. And then we will be able to finish this province and take what will be exact exactly what we need to complete our production boost quest. But for now, we wait, unless of course, we use diamonds. We have 140 diamonds. I suppose it wouldn't be too bad to complete that one that we can with some diamonds. So, let's do that. And there's this other one up for grabs as well. Not anymore. But we did get another one there. So now we only need two more points. Two more points, which is going to take either half an hour. Yeah, in half an hour we'll be able to do this, unless that new province we scouted has brought us more people to look at. There's that province gone. That was this guy here, so we would have to scout away so that we know that we're going to find someone. So over here, thousand coins. So if we click on that one there and we wait the three minutes then we will be able to find another person who hopefully give us some supplies okay so we found our new neighbor so let's help him out and see what happens no, just go oh it's always worth a try So, looks like we're going to be waiting for another... Oof, how long is it going to be? 25 minutes, and then we'll be able to finally, hopefully, get what we want. But, I guess we're going to find out. We'll see. Back okay guys, we're back, and we're a few seconds away now from getting our crossbow in. And we just got another knowledge point from our hourly cycle there. So now you're only going to have to wait. Ooh, there we go. You're only going to have to need to get two, not one knowledge point from this encounter here. So, which one do we think will be easiest to kill? Probably this one, so we're gonna go in with all our troops. We're gonna also fight it. Okay. We finally got that last knowledge point, and now we can put it into researching this. So we need 12,000, so we need 800. We're gonna need 800 gold to finish this, which we got just about. So, I just speak about that. And now, boom, we've got our steel production boost. We got eight steel relics. Now we just need to gain five steel, and that's simple enough. We just have to wait another two hours for that cycle to run through. So let's see what that production boost was that gave us. Currently zero percent, and if in two percent, two more steel relics, we will get an upgrade which will produce, uh, which will improve the production by quite a bit.
so as we can see this episode we've completed quite a bit we've unlocked all of our production manufacturers for the first tier and we have got our squad upgrade a second tier of troop and now we've finally got our first boost and not forgetting that expansion at the start there too so I think just at the end of this video I'm going to start moving getting into moving some stuff around so that we can create a better looking place because we need to want our stuff to be neat and residences they're not too important in terms of where they are so it would be good to keep them off by themselves because they're not going to be doing much for us whereas things like workshops we're going to be using a lot because of their cycles and we're going to need to have them all together like this so they're nice and easy to collect and there we go another cycle complete guys I think that's what we did for this episode. Whilst whilst I'm not recording I will progress and I will try to get up to the main hall here and then I will rejoin you when we reach this point here. So I'll see you next episode.